Select the paintbrush tool, set the width to 36, set it to black and select an ink brush and apply. This will create a layer. Try and avoid the edges. Also keep it fairly central. Then go to select menu and selection from layer and delete. Then go to select and feather that selection. So feather and set it to about 30, 35 and click apply. And fill that with a gradient. So go to the gradient tool and apply the default gradient black to white. Maybe go with linear or radial. You've got a layer now filled with a gradient. You can go down the bottom and you can click effects and you can set 3D, set that to on and set the radius. Also you can do other ones as well. And you can see a lovely 3D effect there. Once you're happy with that, click close. Then go to a layer menu and down to rasterize. Needs to be rasterized. Deselect the preserve and then rasterize. And then select and deselect. Select the move tool, and you can resize it. But you can also now turn it into a pattern layer. So layer and new pattern layer from selection. And you can keep the last layer, doesn't matter. And you can now resize the pattern layer. You can also rotate it. You can also hold down the alter option key and duplicate the design. And you can do that multiple times to create multiple pattern layers, which you can resize and rotate. And you can build this up over 30 or 40 layers, up to you. To create this lovely tangled paintbrush, oil, ink effect, a three-dimensional effect. And once you're happy with that, you can of course also apply effects if you want by the filters menu. But you can always flatten it, just go to the layer menu and flatten the entire thing, or use the merge visible. So layer and merge visible, and it will all become one pixel layer. 